Sergeant Frank Delgado. Next article then. 210 centimeters in height. Wow. I thought he was just bulky, but he's also really tall. Guess he's mostly, you know, kind of bent over from all the ammo on his back, though. 130 kilograms in weight. 31 years old. Greenish brown eyes, dark hair. Blood group O positive. Which is pretty good for, well, not for him, but for others, so, which means, in a pinch, you could use his blood for other people, but he would reject most other blood types. Well, I think all blood types, actually, except for other O's. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I got this wrong, I, I'm pretty sure I got that right. Anyway, heavy weapons is his position and he is a pyromancer. Sergeant Delgado is of mixed mestizo and Chickasaw blood. Hmm. And spent most of his troubled youth shuffled from one foster home to the next. Until distant relatives on an Oklahoma reservation took him in. Finding a much needed cultural identity Delgado poured his body and soul into Chickasaw spiritualism, which led to a lifelong pursuit of shamanic wisdom. He di didn't really strike me as the wise type, to be fair, but... Okay. Although he did have a lot of good hunches, I have to admit. Blending the, dis the disciplines of alchemy and shamanism, Delgado learned to summon a fire-based entity, which he presumes is the Chickasaw spirit Ababinili. Ababinili. Probably not how you pronounce that. But was unable to control it. Further contact with similar spirits in Borneo, Mongolia and Lithuania gave him the knowledge to harness the spirit and request its bidding. Unfortunately, Delgado used his knowledge of psychoactive drugs and chemistry to fund his research, which eventually eventually drew the unwanted attention of the DEA and the Chinese government of all people. He was less than 24 hours from execution in Beijing when the Department of Occult Warfare pulled strings to liberate him. In return for his life he was signed on with the Jericho Squad and trained in Occult Warfare. Delgado is a pyromancer, which could be roughly translated as one who speaks with fire. In Delgado's case, the fire he speaks with is an entity of living flame that he says is Ababinili, a Chickasaw flame spirit. After contacting the spirit, Delgado offered it his right arm as a sacrifice to win its cooperation, which it accepted. The creature of living flame now lives as a parasite on Frank's arm during missions, encased and contained in a large metal sleeve that is covered in arcane symbols, courtesy of Sergeant Church, and is curiously warm to the touch. In combat, Frank opens the containment sleeve and releases Abba Benilli, where he immediately sets to wreaking as much havoc as possible before he is forced back into containment. When loose, Abba Benilli responds usually to Delgado's commands and so becomes a formidable tool and weapon. Delgado's powers didn't come without a price. The fire spirit that he commands requires a flesh and blood host. So Delgado has sacrificed his own arm to feed it. A special containment device co-designed by Delgado and Sergeant Billy Church has been grafted onto his arm. Like a flaming bird of prey, Delgado opens the device to release the spirit, then calls it back to his arm at will. The cost of Delgado's arrangement should be obvious. While on a mission in order to win the spirit's subservience, the creature lives a parasitic life on Delgado's arm. Like many parasites, Abba Benilli doesn't want to annoy its host so much that Delgado decides to get rid of it himself of the pest. To this end, the spirit deadens the pain from the burns on Delgado's arm while he is confined there. When the spirit is released during combat, however, the pain returns with nearly crippling intensity. And that's why 
Delgado can only use that ability temporarily, I suppose. There was a lot of redundancy in that article. Frank only has one useful arm on a mission, as his right is encased within a protective shell that contains the living flame that is the source of his power. He uses weapons designed to be operated and reloaded with just one arm, thanks to custom-made reloading mechanisms installed on his body armor. Primary weapon, 7.62mm Hell's Keeper 3-barreled Gatling gun. Secondary weapon, 0.50 caliber pain, automatic custom pistol. Before making his deal with the fire entity, Delgado was deeply spiritual, a true shaman. Since then he has become a troublemaker and is usually upset, probably due to the intense pain the parasitic spirit inflicts when it is released. Hates having anyone poking around inside his head, psychologists and psychics alike. Well, and possessive spirits like Ross, I assume. Feels a kindred spirit in Sergeant Church, considers himself a modern day alchemist, self taught in chemistry, pharmacology, and botany. Identifies strongly with the trickster archetype, loves mischief. Has real problem with authority, doesn't like blind minded orders.